are born. Stay down. I'm so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? We in the game, y'all. Straight into it. I think so. I think everything's set. Hopefully it is. If it's not, I'm doomed. Like and subscribe to the channel. If you're on YouTube, you're on Patreon. Y'all know what's happening over here. We watching the whole thing. Let's get it, man. Snatch. My name is Turkish. Any name for an Englishman, I know. <laughs> my parents-to-be were on the same plane when it crashed. They named me after the name of the plane. Not many people are named after a plane crash. I bet. That's Tommy. He tells people he was named after a gun. Known him for as long as I can remember. He's my partner. I try to keep him out of as much trouble as he inflicts on me. But really, he's like my brother. I'm a boxing promoter. I was a happy boxing promoter until a week ago. What do I know about diamonds? Don't they come from Antwerp? But they come from Antwerp. You gotta love Jason's voice. It's a nice story, Adam and Eve. Yeah. What is it? It's a big schlong. <laughs> what do you want to do? Drop my belt. My belt, man. Who's in the best seat? Michael. Hello? Michael, you have kept us waiting for half an hour. Are you trying to give me heartburn? What? He got through the metal detector with all of that? Can't even get through with my keys. Where's the stone? Okay. Oh. Oh. Michael, come on. There is the stone. <laughs> Michael looks so defeated. Michael, where is the stone? <laughs> that thing got clarity on it. <laughs> Gorgeous, George. <laughs> Oh, brick top look like a madman. Give me your gun. When you get to London, if you want the gun, call this number. Boris. He can get you anything you need. Boris sound like the man to talk to. Alright. See you allowed to do that. It's an unlicensed boxing match, Tom. Not a tickling competition. What's happening with those sausages, Charlie? How am I supposed to run this thing from that? I want a new one, Tommy. You're gonna buy it for me. You spent a summer in one, which means you know more than me. What's wrong with this one? Oh, uh, nothing. It's tip top. It's tip top. Just, I'm not sure about the colour. You just gotta pick it up. There's an address. Ten grand, and it'd be nice to see change. He won't change to. What's happening with them sausages, Charlie? Five minutes, Turkish. Time went up. It was two minutes, five minutes ago. Lang <laughs> parties, are they? What's that? What is a gun doing in your trousers? It's for protection. From what? The Germans? The Germans. So stop it blowing your bollocks off every time you sit down. Where did you get it? Or it's the blade. It's heavy, isn't it? Heavy is good. If it doesn't work, you can always hit him with it. Boris got a point. Bent as the Soviet sickle and as hard as the hammer that crosses it. Just impossible to kill the bastard. It looked like it. <laughs> Tommy runs the other business, which keeps the rain off our heads and the gloves on Gorgeous's hands. All right, I'll take it. There's a reason for Tommy's newfound enthusiasm for firearms. Brick Tom. Oh, he do look crazy. He doesn't look bad, does he? Oh, no, Mr. Pulpwood, he looks great. You reckon that's what people should do for me, do you, Gary? That's what you deserve, Mr. Pulpwood. Pull your tongue out of my arsehole, Gary. <laughs> Dogs do that. You're not a dog, are you, Gary? You do have all the characteristics of a dog, Gary. It's rumoured that Brick Top's favourite means of despair, plastic bag, a roll of tape, and a pack of hungry pigs. Oh, that's a horrible way to go. Got no time for grass. Ah! Feed them to the pigs, Errol. What the f are you two looking at? <laughs> the brother looking like, hey. You just gotta make sure you don't end up owing him. Then you're in his debt. And once you're in there, you ain't ever coming out. I'll be doing you a favor, boy. I'm doing him a favor. Because everybody knows nobody takes a dive in my fight. You don't like me, do you, boy? I do know I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> Now play your cards right and I'll sort you out. You can sort me out by showing me out. He want him to throw a fight? Are they Lancashire pigs? Who the f talking to you, boy? Brick Top loves Tommy. You don't want to let me down, do you, boy? I'll see you ringside. Turkish like, you don't talk to me like that. Frankie f***ing Four Fingers has a diamond. I have told you it's in the briefcase. I sent him to you to buy a gun. What more do you want me to do? Boris, you're my brother. So think like my brother. And don't you have him killed Boris, it will raise suspicion. He's gonna stay in London only for a couple of days, so move quick, okay? One more thing, he loves to gamble. He loves to gamble. Frankie Fourfingers, they coming for the diamond. 
You're a good boy, Frankie. A good boy, and you did a real good job. I gotta move the mailers and the two grainers here and get a better price. Talk to my cousin, Dougie. Frankie, stay out of those casinos. I'll see you, Abby. 86 carats. 86 carats is crazy. No, Paul, you're lying for me. That's Doug the Head. Everybody knows Doug the Head. Pretends he's Jewish. Even tells his family they're Jewish. He thinks it's good for business. In the diamond business, yeah. it is good for business. He'll be there today. Take care of him, will you? What do you take me for? This is England. We play by the rules. The stones are kosher. Then I'll buy on my way. Neither in it. Free country, innit? Well, it ain't a free shot, is it? You get up out of there. <laughs> I want to see you two girls up in my office. Yeah, Dad, you told us. He's a big mucker in New York. Yeah, Dad, you, you told, told us. us. Hey, girls. <laughs> I always go for reliability. Mm, I'll take it. But what do you want for it? I want you to do something for me. There is a fight in a couple of days. There is a bookies I know that will take bets. <laughs> He heard bets and eyes lit up. If you place one down for me, we will call it quits. Why don't you put it down yourself? I already have uh, an outstanding debt with the house. I know something most don't. What do you know? He gonna have somebody throw a fight. So let's get in on his bread. <laughs> Frankie definitely gonna do it. Who are you looking for? Mr. O'Neill, piss off. <laughs> he mean as hell. Never quit. Oh, you're a real tight f***er, aren't you? Now, there is a problem with pikies or gypsies. Yes, way back. Can't really understand much of what is being said. You tell me. I'm glad I got Come the subtitles on. It's not English. How are you? Fair to win from contest for the horses, you know that. It's just, well. Hey, kids. How big is he? He's a big man, that's for sure. You look like a boxer. You, know, you look like a boxer. Offer the man a proper drink, huh. right? Is the big fella not coming with us? No, he's more than a car. Do you like dogs? Dogs. Do you like dogs? Oh, dogs. Sure. <laughs> like Dax? I'm going to start calling dogs that. Hey, I got a nice dad. What the heck is this guy talking about? Now, p are well known for their skills of negotiation. Part of the reason they talk like they do. If Tommy can get the caravan, on his return, there'll be an ice cream waiting. See you later, lads. See you, boss. We got the caravan. Turkey's going to be a happy man. See what all the fuss is about. <laughs> oh! Damn, Pike! I don't know if that's a racial slur. I think I can you can cut now, but you still got the legs to carry you. <laughs> he played him. Nobody brings a fella the size of you unless they're trying to say something they're talking right by. Just give us our money back and you can keep your caravan. What the f I want a caravan? It's got no f***ing weird. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Have you fight for me? Okay, now, you know what happens when okay. you fight? Want the money? Fight for it. You and me. Fight? Oh, he cheated. He ain't let him get his jacket off. So that's the kind of fight it's going to be. He popped back up. He he got heart. <laughs> He's just stretching in the middle of all okay, of this. Can I go in anyway, you tick lump? Cut him a thick lump. It's on now. What happened? <laughs> he put gorgeous George down. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, it's over. <laughs> it's over, Gorgeous George. It turns out that the sweet talking, tattoo sporting piker is a gypsy bare knuckle boxing champion. Right now, that's the last thing on Tommy's mind. Gorgeous doesn't wake up in the next few minutes. Tommy knows he'll be buried with him. He's praying. And if he isn't, he Man, Tommy crying. Dog, he hit Gorgeous one time. Put him down. Is he dead? He killed that man with one punch? <laughs> Gorgeous George is a professional unlicensed boxer. That should have never happened. Bad boy. So? Easy. Some moist tonight. A what a night? Got him. Not genuine. Bad boy, I keep telling you. Stick to being a gangster. Leave this game to me and so. What is that, Vince? This is a dog. Where did you get it? The Jippos. Yeah. You know Jippos, so. They're always throwing dogs in with deals. But it better not be dangerous. Boy, stop the dog! He ran! Boris. All right, Boris. I have a job for you. 50 grand for half a day's work. What you talking? Go on. I want you to hold up a bookies. From Russia with love, eh? But to chew with many different men to see about many different ducks. So if I am not rushing you, when in Rome, I am not in Rome, duck. I am in a rush. I got to make the bookies. 
What are you betting on? Bomber hackers? Do you know something that I don't? They probably know a lot you don't. Tyrone's going to be driving for us. He's done a rally driving course. Don't you, Tyrone? I don't want that dog dribbling on my seat. This is a stolen car, mate. While I'm at the wheel, it's my car. I can't believe you found it. Where'd it go? It went straight back to the jibbos. And how could it find it? Well, I don't know. I'm not a dog soul. It's like he's a fucking only vegan or something. Yeah. I thought you said he could drive, soul. Don't worry about me. Just worry about that dog. You got to worry about getting out the car, man. I think that leather stuck to the seat. Car a little too small for him. I thought you said he was a getaway driver. Just worry about getting us a gun, yeah? What's that? What the? <laughs> An anti-aircraft gun, Vincent. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to raise some pulses, don't I? You'll raise hell. Never mind pulses. Look <laughs> at a nine millimeter. This dude got a shotgun. Hey, Brookies. What are we stopped here for? It's too tight. You can land a jumbo f***ing jet in there. Hey, really? Leave him alone. I'm starting to lose faith in Tyrone. A natural f***ing idiot. <laughs> Tyrone, what are you done? Here, Tyrone. Tyrone. You hustle me. You see what happens. It's a four-ton truck, Tyrone. It was a funny angle. A funny angle? <laughs> Give it that squeaky <laughs> toy. It shut up last time. <laughs> Oi, don't snatch. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you put gorgeous George two days before he had to fight the bomber? I didn't expect him to get hurt. What the fuck did you expect? A grease down and a shiatsu? Who took the jam out of your donut? <laughs> you took the fucking jam out of my donut, Tommy. <laughs> you did, Tommy. I wonder, it's, so is gorgeous George dead or what? Between losing 10 grand, hospitalizing gorgeous, oh. and a good deal. How are we going to explain this to Bricktop? We replaced the fighter. Oh, I hope he doesn't notice. John the gun. Or oh, mad fish, Willie. <laughs> mad fish went mad. <laughs> and the gun shot himself. How ironic. Let's use the fucking piker. What you gonna pass? Tank. What you gonna pass? Ah, me ballocks. I lose one out running for the boss. Hey, Pikey meeting. Oh, let me stop saying that, y'all. I'm just joking. Hey, I do it for a caravan. What's wrong with this one? That's uh, not for me. It's for me, man. You what? It's not. Ah. A caravan it is. Bricktop runs an illegal bookies. Now I'm changing fighters. And Bricktop's going to exploit the situation. I'm going to pull my pants down. Squeeze me up. I aim for penetration. Well, wait, 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 what? Not me now, you dirty f***. Poke you with a stick, you watch his bollocks grow. We've lost gorgeous George. Well, where'd you lose him? Not back in out. You bet your bollocks to a barn dance you're not backing out. We're changing a fight. And who might you be changing him to, sweetheart? You won't know him. You've still got your fight. I lose all bets at the bookies. You can't change fighters at the last minute. Oh, no, I don't have my fight, do I, you f***ing prat? You can take bets at the fight. Put a lead on her, Turkish, before she gets bitten. Make sure your yeah, man goes down in the fourth. This is the one place I didn't want to be. And he's dead. Never getting out. You're on thin ice, my pedigree chums. Now, f off. I wouldn't want to work for him. He got me toe up if he talking to me any type of way like that. I don't care. Money ain't that important. Where's Frankie Four Fingers? <laughs> I don't know, Abby. I'm not his mother. He's coming back after he's been to a fight. A fight? It's a boxing match, Abby. A boxing match. You're talking about Frankie. I've got a problem with gambling. Four fingers, Doug. Do you have any idea why they call him Frankie Four Fingers, Doug? No. Because he makes stupid bets with dangerous people. When he doesn't pay up, they give him the chop. We're going to London. Do you hear that, Doug? I'm coming to London. Avi's pissed. Hey, shut up and quick. sit down, you big balls. Oh! I don't like leaving my own country, Doug, for anything less than warm, sandy beaches. We've, we've got sandy beaches. So who the f wants to see him. I hope that you can appreciate the concern I have for my friend Frankie. And you're going to help me find him. And we're going to start at that fight. What are we waiting for anyway? We are waiting for a man with four fingers carrying a briefcase. What's in the case? Oh, for sake, Tyrone. Just concentrate on the steering wheel. That's enough for you, Tyrone. You can barely do that. You're not going to let us down, are you? He's going down in the fourth. Don't you worry about that. Oh, was that him? I don't know. How many fingers did he have? I couldn't get the binoculars out in time. <laughs> the binoculars. Let's start the show. Uh-oh. It's going down. Oh, you right, you give me everything. Oh! <laughs> oh! What does it look like I'm doing up here? 
drop the screen now. How you doing, Vince? We're doing a lot better. You stop using my name. If all bets are off, then there can't be any money, can there? She got balls. What have you got? Could be a woman. A few coins, but no notes. Ah! A couple of coins. Hey! Won't open because it's a security door. Ah! Oh! Genius! <laughs> Just take our mask off. We caught anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what the f are you two doing? Tyrone! Man, we wanted to see. Hop back in the car, drive! Tyrone, what are you doing? There's a man with four fingers and a briefcase, Finny. In the right corner! You're going down in the fourth. Is that clear? Mickey! Mickey in there smoking a square before the fight. <laughs> he chilling. You gotta go down in the fourth. You got oh! Tommy and Turkey should. <laughs> Do you realize I've just done for 40 grand, damn you, Top? I'll make it up to you, I promise. Stand on me. Thanks for the tip, Brick Top. If I throw a dog a bone, I don't want to know if it tastes good or not. You stop me again whilst I'm walking, and I'll cut you off and Jacob's off. Hey, Brick Top be on 10. Oh, everybody lost bread thanks to Brick Top. <laughs> Brick Top about to be pissed. We're going to kill his freak. What you doing with him? The case was attached to his arm. So why didn't you chop it off? Why? Chop it off? You have a problem. What? There weren't much cash at the bookies. We want this. Woo! Well, at least half of this. But here's the ten large to help the situation. No. Nah, I'm bro. It's too late for that. I mean, we could, by all rights, keep the old stone, Boris. He was gonna give him ten grand. Eh? <laughs> that stone worth. Oh! oh! Joe! Boris! He could not know my name. Oh! Give me the stone. He killed Frankie. It's in the case. You put the stone in the case. The only man who knew the combination. You just shot. Really? Take the bullet out of his head, Boris. Boris just walks around with a meat cleaver. This guy's something else. <laughs> now, it's not too clever to hang about after Mickey's performance. I'm happy to leave the country, but I need money to do so. And any money I have is in the safe. It's... Oink, oink. Ah. Don't feed me to the pig. So that's where you keep the sugar. Hey. Bricktop, listen, Bricktop, let me tell you I stuff. just had them polished. Go and put the kettle on. You take sugar. No, thank you, Turkish. I'm sweet enough. <laughs> I hate Brick Top. He a gangster though. Here's now your problem. I don't know who crazy or Brick Top or Boris. You can keep the ten grand, but if I see you again, you mother look at here. Boris might be crazier. I've got a bare knuckle fight in a couple of days. This time, I do want him to go down in the fourth. I know you come back here to open your safe, so now you can open it. Now find me the silly sods who blagged the bookies. Find them today. Stop in the morning to you, Miss O'Neill. You're a snake in the grass, ain't you, Tommy? Where did they come from? You're looking for my boy, are you? I don't want you getting my boy into any trouble. And he's a good boy. He's coursing. What's coursing? Hair coursing. What's hair coursing? They sent two lurchers. They're dogs, before you ask. On a hair. And a hair has to outrun the dogs. So what if it doesn't? What a big rabbit kiss. Proper. Yeah, Tommy. Before the Germans get there. Do you know these tits, Errol? John? I can't help, Gav. Ah, uh, Tyrone. Damn. They knew Tyrone. Well, do you want to do it? That depends. It's not the same caravan. It's not the same fight. It's yeah. the fucking size of the last one. You're lucky we aren't worm food after your last performance. Now save your breath and cured your parts. Hey, look. Uh, the Santa Claus frame furniture and the scarred cushions with the uh, mats and shagpack cover. What? The subtitles didn't even bring that up. Also to the Paddy Winkle Blue Bass. Have I made myself clear, Bass? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's perfectly clear, Mickey, yeah. You understand a single word of what he just said. <laughs> How about you for it? Uh, 
you'll walk. <laughs> if I win, I get a car to run. And the buyers get a pair of them shoes. <laughs> now, the last thing I really want to do is better pop. I don't really have much of a choice. Okay. I reckon the hair gets What? Proper fuck. Proper fuck. Tell me like I told you. That's a big truck. If Tommy can fit in there. I mean, Tyrone. That rabbit, that rabbit booking. I'll tell you, you rubbed your bookies. Tyrone, you snitching. You were supposed to be solid. He lost. <laughs> uh oh. Pedrick Blue. Pedrick Blue. Those proper nah, then. There's something very wrong with this. Well, why didn't you bust a cap in his ass, then, Tommy? That six pound piece of shit stuck in your trousers there. Do more damage if you fed it to him. <laughs> Shine a gun don't work. You tried it? Whoops. Oh, Boris sold him a dud. I wanna see that sneaky. Russian. What happened to him? He got shot in the face, Lincoln. What do you want me to do about it? Sort it out. I create the bodies. I don't erase the bodies. It's like we're in governor. Hope this is not a bad moment. <laughs> do you know who I am? I do. That's why he looked scaredest. You're always gonna have problems lifting a body in one piece. Cut up a corpse into six pieces and pile it all together. Then I hear the best thing to do is feed them to pigs and pull the teeth out for the sake of the pig's digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course, but you don't want to go sieving through pig shit now, do you? You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one setting. A single pig can consume two pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. Mm. Thank you, I never knew that. Gave you a different outlook well, on pig. Thank you for that. Yeah. That's a great weight off me mind. <laughs> Not eating pork no more. Do you know what nemesis means? A righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent. By an honorable c Me. <laughs> True. At least he know what he is. <laughs> they got Tyrone hanging out the body bag. Why can't you find me Frankie, Doug? I'm not a bounty hunter. How about Tony? You are gonna die, Tony! You got shot six times, had the bullets molded into gold. <laughs> the best chance you got of finding Frankie. Six times? Yeah, he's invincible. In one sitting. Yeah. We're in trouble now. That sounds promising. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Guy got shot six times. That's exactly who we need. I'm coming. Bonjour. You give us four days, and I will get you a stone the size of a f***ing home. I kid you not. You've got 48 hours. After that, it's your family. And the pigs finish what the dogs don't do. The pigs eat good, man. Bullet, a tooth. You can call me Susan if it makes you happy. 40,000. Where was he last seen? At a bookie's. A bookie's got blagged last night. Blagged? Blagged. Blagged. Robbed. I need a gun. You don't rosebud me, old son. You need me. Bulletproof like you need me. I'm better than a gun. Hey, you doing to in the yard, ain't me? Mm, nice tie. I want to know who Black Bricktop's book is. <laughs> do me a favor, do it. I will do you a favor, mullet. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, he driving off. Mullet, tell him what he want to know. <laughs> I don't think I'll slow down. I think I'll speed up. I want to know who Black Bricktop's book is. Two black guys work a board job at Smith Street. Are we taking him with us? Let him go. Damn near killed the man. Effective way to get information, though. I guess. <laughs> Give me a name. No, oh, no. Boris. Boris the Blade? Yeah. Bullet Dodger. Why do they call him the Bullet Dodger? Because he dodges bullets heavy. He won't fight unless we buy his mama care of him. In the quiet words of the Virgin Mary, come again. <laughs> <laughs> You're not much good to me alive, are you, Turkish? Punishing for me, Errol. I want that to fight. They screwing up the slot business. This ain't even cool. Y'all messing with our money. And if that wasn't enough, he thought it would be a good idea to burn Mickey's mum's caravan. Oh. While she was asleep in it. Oh. Dang, that ain't even cool. Hey, Bricktop gotta die now. 
I hate starting to wish death upon people in movies and stuff. But Brick Top, you got to go, bro. The worst way possible, man. He was trying to get a caravan for his mom. And his mom dies in the caravan. A type of... Turkish, get your ass up. Behave yourself. You want to see if I've got the minerals? The minerals? <laughs> Damn gun don't even work. Good job, Tommy. Tommy got big minerals. Sorry, Mickey. Did you do it? So why are you sorry for her? You got some tires on you. Fuck off, Dad. How silly do I feel? His mum is still smoking next to us. I know I'm asking him to fight. I'll do the fight before he causes any more carnage. He was a highly trained undercover agent. It'll be impossible to track down. There's a strange man down here who wants to sell us an 84 carat stone. Oh, Boris pulled up. Russian accent. He a bold man. Tyrone, you get round to the Russians. The second you see him, you give us a call. Can't trust Tyrone to do nothing. He's a right handful, this fella. I'll take care of him. You're gonna have to get me to a doctor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Find my friend, a nice Jewish doctor. Boris probably hit him upside the head with the gun. You know he like heavy weapon. Do you want him to be able to talk or not? What do you mean okay. replicas? Nobody is going to argue. And I got some extra loud blanks just in case. In case we have to deafen them to death. <laughs> deafen them to death. <laughs> Replica guns. It just worked for Tommy. We're coming over. You hold him there. Hold on. Damn, I didn't think they would get bored. Boy, I thought he knocked dude upside the head and got away. Sneaky. Woo! So where is he, Tyrone? It's not just thee. Three fellas went in the ass. Do they look odd? All right, come on, let's get out of here. I think we should get you a new gun. But this time, mm -hmm. try it. Well, come on in. No, no, no. Not so fast, mate. We're going to have to follow him. Doing that stuff anyway. What's wrong with it? Not in sync with evolution. How do you want to get rid of him? Do you want to stab him? Well, it's a little cold-blooded, isn't it? I'll cut him. Yeah, that's the spirit. Oh! You wanted to know whether or not they were. Oh! Ah! With that. The human digestive system hasn't got used to any dairy products yet. Mine definitely hasn't. Let me do you a favor. I get that dairy in me, I'm just coming right back out. The milk hit high, really? The milk hits the window. Oh. <laughs> what are the odds? Is that Boris? Boris is free. <laughs> well, kinda. <laughs> Oh, Tyrone, what have you done? What about Rosebud? What ah. would you like to bring? That's what he get for playing with that knife. You are not taking that dog with you, Vince. Well, I can't leave him in here, can I? Just the door open. Shouldn't think that's a good idea. Should we go in? As many of these nuts as he has those nuts. I don't care if he's got the nasal nuts. I want a gun that works. And I'm going to tell him, surely got those minerals. Yeah, he do. <laughs> Come on, then. Oh, he's still alive. And I don't want to put a bullet in your face, but unless you give me exactly what I want, there will be murder. There are big brave balls, and there are little mincy balls. Now dicks have drive and clarity of vision. They smell, and they want a piece of the action. Mine and does. you thought you smelled some good old like a prick. You're shrinking, and your two little balls are shrinking with you. The fact that you've got replica written down the side of your gun. The fact that I've got Desert Eagle point five oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Now. He let him leave. He could have used that Desert Eagle. Get your asses out of there. I got replica weapons. Shoot me. I will. I'll shoot you. Boris. You. Drop guns. Fuck you. Me, I better drop them damn replicas and run. <laughs> oh. Happy? Pull your socks up. Uh oh, Boris. I didn't think you can die, Boris. <laughs> it ain't looking too good now. What's Boris doing? Rest in peace, Boris. Tommy ain't gonna never get his gun now. I'll show you now. Boris still alive! Okay, four more. Rest in peace, Boris. Oh my gosh! 
Rest in peace, Bor Boris. <laughs> I don't even know if Boris dead yet. I ain't even saying Jeez, it no more. It's flawless. Leave the dog here. I'm gonna leave the dog here. Don't worry about it. Okay. Sit down. He's still squealing. <laughs> they gotta get that thing out of stomach. You give me the stone, and I will give it to Bricktop. Dude, what is he doing down there? The well, I put it down there in case we got mud. He's gonna mug two black fellas holding pistols, sat in a car that's worth less than your shirt. There's an eagle point five oh. Oh no! The hot dog's still not done, Charlie. What happens if the gypsy knocks the other man out? He's done it before, really. I feel bad for gorgeous. But I don't exactly trust the pot. It's his mum's funeral tonight. God bless her. Well, what if he doesn't make it to the fourth round? We get murdered before we leave the building. So why are you so calm? It's not as though we've got a choice now, is it? You show me how to control a wolf in Gypsy, and I'll show you how to control an uninged, pig-feeding gangster. Bollocks, I'm going for a walk. Oh. Now, where's the stone? Come on, where is it? It's empty. I'm getting hyper. Tony, do something terrible. The dog must have had it. Look in the dog. You mean look in the dog? I mean, open them up. That's a bit strong, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least he could pull the, the squeaky pig out. And sew him back up right, Tony. The <laughs> dog going crazy. <laughs> like, I didn't have to. Oh! The dog snatched the diamond like it snatched the pig. <laughs> Tony? He killed Tony. That dog <laughs> is going to go back to the campsite, so I'm telling you, it always does. Let's stick him in the car and then go and look for a pig farm. You feeling all right, Mickey? Need a drink? No, Mickey, you don't need a drink. Well, sometimes the drink helps a hangover. <sighs> Bounce back, Mickey. What, Mickey? <laughs> he already looked like he Mickey. out. Before the fourth. <laughs> Need to have a shake. I need to have a shake. <laughs> well, come on, we got a fight to go to. Mickey's going down in the fourth. I forgive you if he goes down this time. How long have we got to stay here? As long as it takes, now shut up. I mean, throw it through the Head a bit away. And then your air works. <laughs> There's a campsite full of pikers who might not think you're so f***ing funny. Not when they're putting out the flames on their children's backs. Mickey! Got back up. He got back up. Mickey held back on the punch a little bit. Could've killed him. <laughs> round one! <clears throat> one round down. Mickey kicking his ass though. Mickey, take it easy on him. Do not knock him out. You're dancing like a fairy. You'll hang us with the ring ropes if they think it's rigged. Now, we are f***ed. He got up and hit him with a one-hitter quitter. Give me that thing, shooter. Something very silly. You freeze, and your life doesn't flash before you because you're too scared to think. You just freeze and pull a stupid face. Pikey didn't. Why? Because he had plans on running the car over. This is all in his plan. It had previously occurred to me. The gypsy had taken the demise of his mother rather lightly for every action. There's a reaction. This is chaos. Give me that shooter. I'll give you a shooter. Two double barrels. That is when I clocked the park he had money riding on himself. That's the reason the bastard never goes down when he's supposed to. And he was betting on himself. He, he rich. We're worse off now than when we started. The next day we went to the campsite. We can't ask a man to fight for us if we can't find him, can we? Come on. What you doing here? Taking the dog for a walk. 
What's the problem? What's in the car? Seats in a steering wheel. <laughs> On your way. The dog always come back home. Ooh, now they gonna get the dog. The dog at the diamond. They ride off with the diamond after all of that, really? Tommy persuaded me to keep the dog. The vet found half an undigested shoe, a squeaky toy, and an 84 carat diamond lodged in its stomach. So what do you do? Go to see the man that knows about these sort of things. Okay, so, so, so from the beginning, okay, so I get it. In the beginning, that's why he was like, what do I know about diamonds? Want to know what I know about diamonds? So basically, he had the diamond. It started from the end. That was him already having the diamond. And he just went through the story of how he, you know, obtained the diamond, which was the wildest story ever. Like, that whole movie was just this irony. Just like, what? It was a fun ride, though. 84 carat? Mm. Anybody out there got an 84 carat diamond? I just want to know. Anything close? I take a moissanite. I know what moissanites are. Moissanites are damn near, you got diamond and then you got moissanite. It's like a little bit under. Diamond just, you get genuine with diamond. I take some moissanite, go out here and flex out with some moissanite. Dang. Dude, it's crazy that they have a whole separate language. They use separate, I don't know if I'm gonna have to blank all of the, I, was that, a, that was a whole bunch of racial slurs. I don't know if I'm gonna have to blank those out. Pikey. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see, I'm gonna have to look at some other people and see if they blanked it out. I don't know. <laughs> that was fun, y'all. What's next, though? What's next on the list? Y'all gotta tell me. Until next time. <laughs>